with. Blake to freeze, aka be the snake. And as we wait, here is the game. Game one is going to be played on ICC Cup MLG Test Bug. We have Shaken Bait spawning as the blue Terran at the 12 o'clock position about, and then we have Nurzel spawning for University of Maryland, Baltimore County as the red Terran at the two, 3 o'clock position here on ICC Cup Test Bug. So T versus T here. Nothing too much to talk about here. I have never seen Nurzel play. Nurzel, though, has a huge amount of games played in the Masters uh, League. From what I could tell, he was has 236 losses and 236 wins. That's a lot of games played. That so is obviously, a lot of games played. Obviously, he has experience, and we'll see if uh, how that works works for him in this match here. Um, interesting to see that uh, Shaking Bank actually didn't go for the wall off. Which, uh, you know, the typical Terran players usually do. Yeah, I think from watching him the past couple weeks, I don't think he normally does a wall off. So I think this just might be some standard play coming from him. Um, what we have seen him do in the past is he really likes those uh, Marines, Marauders, Tech, so a mech sort of play here. And we'll see if he decides to do that against the Terran versus Terran. So far, we've only seen him seen him play Zerg, though. So we should be doing maybe a different, little bit different uh, play style here. And then the, there go the scouts passing right by each other. <laughs> yep, a little nice high five in the middle of the map. Gas is down now for Shake and Bake. His barracks is almost finished here. And it looks like the barracks is as well almost finished here for Nurzel. His, he's not going with any gas yet. So definitely going to be going a little bit marine heavy here, at least in the early game from what we can tell. Looks like both those SCVs are going to be chasing each other, but it looks like sh Shake and Bake now going for the wall if he is putting down that power supply at the top of his ramp. First Marine is out for Nurzel. Going to be able to take down that SCV, chasing it down. Maybe not. Nope. Couldn't looks give like up. Shake and Bake got away. Yep. And it looks like Nurzel is going to tr control that center in his El Naga Tower here. Might be able to finish off this SCV, although he's just going to chase him back here. Got orbital commands down for both players, and we have a factory coming up for Shake and Bake at the moment. And um, seems like we also have a refinery going down, a second refinery for uh, Shake and Bake as well. So it looks, it looks like, like he's going to be going tech heavy. Yeah, it looks like Nurzel also though going for an early expand here. So definitely that lack of gas early on, or he's getting his gas now, but that lack of gas early on gave him the extra minerals he needed to build this ex early expansion. So we will be able to get. A good economic lead. Also putting down two more axes here. Has three marines out. And it looks like Shaken makes one marine behind. And they're very close in food count right now. Rea or reactor, or tech lab, sorry, is going on Shaken Bake's factory here. So we should be seeing some units come out of that very shortly. Siege tanks. So it looks like one player is ahead, tech. Other players are going to be ahead economically very shortly. So far, no early aggressive um, styles to, uh, to point out here yet. So it looks like they're going to be going for a pretty macro-intensive game here. Um, obviously, Nurzel will be ahead of that economically. Tech Lab going down for Nurzel. Oh, and it looks like Shake is going to be pushing out here a little bit with these four Marines. See if he can do any early damage here. He should be able to do... Maybe a tad if he can catch um, Nurzel's Marines off guard, but Nurzel does have a couple more Marines here. Looks like he's going to stop at that uh, Zelnaga Tower. Shake Looks like Shaken Bake's going to head back here. His combat shield is on, has been started for Nurzel. Starport's on its way for Shaken Bake, so we probably should, will be seeing some medevacs come out of that. Or maybe some banshees. I always like seeing banshees. Cloak banshees are very awesome, but we do see a medevac coming out there now. And it looks like Nurzel might be getting ready for a decent push here. He has a bunch of marines here. He's definitely uh, has more units than Shaken Bake. Blah, 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 blah. 
then Shake and Bake, but Shake and Bake does have two siege tanks, does not have siege mode yet though, but he will, he does have the more teched up units. He will be uh, ahead when it comes to having a medevac instead of um, just a full marine. Those, those medevacs are extremely potent when it comes to uh, marine versus marine. Yeah, but it looks like Nurzel's moving that expansion over to his natural expand, and it looks like Shake and Bake has just started siege mode. Hopefully that will be here in time, but I don't think it will be. Nurzel's pushing out here with a very scary-looking marine force. And they're both pushing out, actually. And they're going to confront each other here, but those siege tanks are just too hard to deal with. And I think he's, Shake and Bake's going to push Nurzel back here. We have a uh, Stim and... Uh Level one weapons uh, research for Nurzel, Nur, Nurzel, Nurzel at the mo at the moment, and siege mode is almost finished <laughs> for uh, Shake and Bake. Should so, be pushing out pretty soon after that siege mode. I think it would be a good time to push. Siege mode is now finished. Nurzel so does have a barracks here with two units in it. it looks like he's Nurzel's going to be pushing out. You're only sending in one marine for a little bit of scouting. Obviously, it's going to get taken down. Siege mode tanks are down. Got a little bit of SCVs are joining in the fight oh here. Oh boy, those looks like he's going all in here. Those SCVs are just gonna die to those siege mode. Tanks. Oh my god, that's so desperate. Oh, but Nurzel able to pull ahead and take down those three siege tanks. Very, very good play by Nurzel. That was actually very, very good play by Nurzel. He and sent in most of his SCVs, although he was still mining, so he didn't really lose as much mine time. But he was able to send those SCPs kind of as a decoy for the siege tanks to get those while his marines got while his marines attacked the siege tank. And it looks like Shake and Bake's getting ready for an expansion here as well. Gonna be a little bit behind economically. He does have a Viking out as well. After that huge altercation, uh, Nurzel's only down by give or take five SCVs from using them as a almost meat shield. Yeah, and also I'd like to note, even after that. Uh, conf confrontation, Shake and Bake is still ahead in food by a decent amount too. So it looks like Shake and Bake did not take as big of a hit as someone might have thought. Interesting to see a Viking come out, honestly. Um, I haven't really seen any air units being produced at all. Oh, actually, I, I just spoke too soon. Starport with a reactor went down for Nurzel and he is training uh, medevacs at the moment. Yeah, so those Vikings are going to do very nicely against those medevacs because the Vikings, well, unless they go to the ground, they can only attack air units from the air, and they'll be able to deal very nicely with those medevacs as the ground units attack the ground units. And it looks like uh, Nurzel's building another command center here at the high ground, going to be going for a third. Looks like he was trying to stim up and push a little bit, but Nurzel will be uh, retreating there. We have a double tech lab. No marauders yet. Um, I'm actually surprised no Hellions have been produced, seeing as uh, there's Matt. As, I mean, Shaky Bake should realize at this moment that he's going very uh, bio heavy instead of uh, tech heavy. So Hellions would really clean up at, at this point, but to each his own. Oh my goodness, that is a scary force by Nurzel. Wait, definitely, definitely. I think what Nurzel needs to do, though, is I think he's not well. He's not building anything out of that factory. Um, he has very low tech units. He only has these Marines with only z with zero one upgrades. While uh, Shake and Bake has the meta has some medevacs. He has the siege tanks, Marines, as well as the Vikings. So Shake and Bake definitely uh, going for more tech units. Although Nurzel is now ahead in food count, so that's switched up a little bit there. Third uh, command center is going down for Shake and Bake at the moment. Stim is halfway finished, as well as Combat Shield is getting there. That'll give a nice advantage to uh, Shake and Bake to have that tech that he really needs. And uh, looks like armor is coming down for Nurzel's marine units. It looks like Nurzel was about to move up there, but he is going to head back here. Because it looks like there's a oh, drop by Shake and Bake here in the natural expansion here. That's eh. oh. was able to kill off some of those SCVs, but Nurzel did retreat back to defend against that, which he did. He is now ahead by 25 supply about, and he will be heading out here, it looks like. 
Nurzel gonna be taking advantage of that uh, that drop that Shake and Bake just did to try and push out and see if uh, he can do any damage as a counter attack. Oh! And Nurzel went in with a full medevac here, but it got shot down by Shake and Bake, so Shake and Bake getting rid of a lot of those units. Nurzel now controlling that center Zelnaga tower as he scouts with these two marines. And it looks like Shake and Bake's gonna be moving out with these marines, but there is no medevacs, there are no tanks. There is nothing uh, with these meta this marines. This is so going to be bad. They are just gonna die very easily. Oh. That was definitely a bad move. What a poor play by Shake and Bake. Oh, that is so unfortunate. That was not good at all. Thank god these are best of two. <laughs> best of three, rather. <laughs> not those, these matches, those... but the series is best of three. Right. Um, Still it, more marines coming out of Nurzel's base. It looks like, okay, he's just finally starting to, producing thi to produce things out of that factory. A siege tank is on its way. So he is getting some more teched up units. It looks like Shake and Bake just went for two more factories, I believe. It's good to see all these siege tanks, because, I mean, if he's not going to play offensive like he usually does, he's got to play this defensive siege tank. And especially against bio units like all those marines. This will destroy them if he gets um, the upgrades for his siege tanks. I'm actually very surprised uh, that he hasn't gotten a... Um, what's the... Uh, a dropship's going to be heading over to Shake and Bake's base, but oh, it was full. Only got two meta only got two marines to, 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 to drop off, and that missile turret was able to kill off the rest of the units. And it looks like these SCVs losing so many SCVs to these two marines. Wow, that actually did some damage, a lot more than it should have. Although he was able to get down that medevac, which got down a considerable amount of units too, but he did lose some SCVs there. Speak of the devil, the armory is going down at the moment, and that will give his uh, siege tank some upgrades. Hopefully. So yeah, it looks like that Nurzel is still going with a huge, massive amount of marines. He has a couple siege tanks now, but I think those marines are going to take huge damages from these siege mode siege mode tanks if they decide to push here. It looks like a third base just went down for Shake and Bake, but Nurzel does scout that with that one marine there, so he does know this base is here. So we'll see if he decides to attack that base first before anything else. Looks like Shake and Bake's moving his siege tanks out a little bit more. Going to be scanning his third, putting these siege tanks up on the high ground here. So Shake and Bake does anticipate Nurzel to move up here. Nurzel is almost at 200 food. Shake and Bake is a little bit behind here, but we'll see if Shake and Bake can deal with this army coming in by Nurzel. One Marine dies. Shake and Bake does scan it. Oh, that is such perfect scan on Shake and Bake's part. Those siege tanks will be able to destroy them. Yeah, they do do some damage to those Marines that there. They are there are a couple in the red. Nurzel looks like he might be moving back, probably waiting until he gets 200, 200, 200, 200 and making a huge push here. We'll see if Shake and Bake decides to take advantage of that uh, lag time in between and he might be able to get some more units out here. It looks like Nurzel going for a fourth base right now. Nurzel's going to go with a scan here. Going to see all these units in siege tanks, going to be able to go around that. We'll see what Nurzel decides to do here. He's pushing out here at 200 food. Siege mode tanks on the high ground doing huge damage. Oh my goodness, siege tanks are so OP. But those marines are tearing through them as well. Nice split by Nurzel, attacking three different places at once. Doing huge damages to Shake and Bake's uh, siege tanks and marines. That was a huge attack by Nurzel. Four Marines going down by Shake and Bake. Nurzel just tearing through Shake and Bake's army here. And it looks like Shake and Bake's second or natural expand is going to go down. It is going to lift up and it is going to be able to be saved here. Although these SCVs are going to get taken out very, very easily. Four Marines coming in from the back from Shake and Bake, but are not going to be able to deal with this army. He might be able to fend this off with the rest of these siege tanks. And those Marines and siege tanks do go down. All that's left of Nurzel's army is a bunch of medevacs who are going to retreat. So it looks like Shake and Bake did take huge a huge amount of damage from that push, but Nurzel 
Or, but he was able to defend against it. Eventually, without, but he did take a big amount of damage. It looks like more Marines from Nurzal are coming into the third of Shake and Bake. Gonna take down some of these SCVs. Force them to leave. I hope you were doing alright <laughs> casting by yourself there for a second. <laughs> oh man, I've been a lot. Oh my goodness, the uh. Ooh, and there, there is the GG. <laughs> that is a. Get out of here!